Ayo Trabi, what's up?
Ayo Trabi, what's up? Welcome, Lux. Thank you for the prime three months. What a banger! Welcome, Lux. Fancy. Welcome. We have Kirksey versus Fantasy. Thanks for the sub, Fancy. Appreciate. Appreciate. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm just going through the map preferences with Kirksey and Fantasy. We're in for an excellent match. We've seen Kirksey go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kabilo proving the victor. And Fantasy. Incredible, incredible players on the chopping block of full tilt. Throwback Stadium, Manfield Knight, Zorafang, welcome. <laughs> we should do polls for uh for this stuff actually. <laughs> Throwback Stadium is cursed, bro. <laughs> Can't go wrong with DFH. What do you what do you reckon? We lower the gravity. We lower the gravity. Put ten times boost on just for lols. 
Where's Riz? Man, I tried to get him, bro. But he's uh, he's coming off the night shift. So he's probably cooking it. So he is unavailable. I gave it a solid attempt. However, you guys are stuck with me tonight. <laughs> Rivals Arena is your favorite, the Hot Wheels one? Actually, that's decent. It's It seems small. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems small. Is it just me? Like, the actual Rivals Arena just seems like a really small map. Weird. Also, the prediction is up. You've got a few more minutes remaining on the prediction. Probably two minutes or two and a bit minutes. And we will be kicking off. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's two, two and a bit. But yeah, spend those scuff coins. Put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> Zorafang was asking for your is. It was pining for you, mate. <laughs> That's okay, Riz. I think people find it weird because so it's not like a weird size or anything. It's just, it's just uh, just a, just a, an odd map that's not uh, well played. Rostru unadded me on Epic. I did no such thing. That is a lie. I didn't, bro. Stop deceiving the masses. Propaganda. Slander, I say. So let's see if the players are ready and we can get stuck right into it. Fantasy is ready. Let's see if Kirksey, the dyslexic art, will be ready. Maybe Hot Wheels are no longer sponsoring Rocket League. Yeah, I wouldn't uh I wouldn't put it past them. Probably cost too much. <laughs> Alright, we've got two of them ready. To rumble. I'm actually really excited to see how this turns out. We're going to see some movement on the right side of the bracket. Now here we go. Fantasy and dyslexic art. Fantasy, dyslexic art. Take to the field. Clashing. In the center field. Fantasy taking it wide. Away from the... Away. And put to safety. Kirksey playing close. Gets a nice little touch there off Fantasy's. Hit towards target. Great challenge. Off the corner wall. Fantasy. Kirksey doing really well on these challenges. Keeping the pressure on. Fantasy taking their time. All the vision. Just when you think it's... Getting, just when you think it's dangerous. Fantasy will find a way through. Kirksey, no slouch. Great save coming from Fantasy. It looks like the players are definitely feeling each other out. That's all right, Riz. We shall see how it all pans out. It was super late notice. We're discussing this at uh, some ungodly hour. <laughs> this morning. <laughs> the night owl scuff after dark was in effect. We see Fantasy finding their first net of the evening. Three minutes 50 remaining. That was a one minute 17 rally. But Fantasy finds their way through Kirksey. Getting fatigued with the length of that rally. Although a one goal deficit. 
does not. Kept Kirksey in their place before plenty of fuel left in Kirksey's tank. Great save coming from Kirksey. Fantasy does well to cut the boost. Kirksey very low on boost here. Collecting those pads. Reset for Fantasy. Gets it over Kirksey. Looks like they find that 100 in the corner. Getting the catch. Great flick. Kirksey hits it on target. Fantasy forced to jump high. Using those precious morsels of boost. Fantasy looking for the fake on Kirksey. But Kirksey is unaffected. Oh, Kirk's trying to push through and muscle Fantasy. The trip up was there too. But Fantasy just elegantly finds their way through. Kirksey doing well to recover to that ball. Although it looks like Kirksey has a great opportunity here. They get the catch, but Fantasy just hauls it back. The recovery on Fantasy, just see that from a mile away. Incredibly done. Fantasy wide. Looking for the touch. Goes off the backboard. Not sure if it was a part of the plan or not. Maybe trying to force Kirksey into the air. Kirksey off the backboard. Gaining the touch. Great defense. A light touch coming from Kirksey. Booming it downfield. Fantasy is staying on that ball. Not allowing Kirksey to generate any momentum. Kirksey getting it around Fantasy. And once again, the quick turn loop. Fantasy gaining that catch. Kirksey gets the dunk. Can they find the goal? A little bit too awkward. They need to play it safe. Two minutes on the clock. The timer is winding down. Fantasy goes for the dunk on Kirksey. Kirksey reads that really well, but because they were forced to jump, it was so awkward. Kirksey recovers well. Going wide. Here comes Fantasy. No flip off the jump. Straight off the sidewall into the center field where Kirksey lies in wait. Coming through. Fantasy will need to find the save. And they do. So measured. So patient from both of these players in dyslexic art. <laughs> that is Kirksey. Big fan of the name, as uh, some of you may know. Extremely tight. Agreed. You can see fantasy and kirksey just juking it out fantasy still holding that one goal lead after what seems like an eternity of a rally fantasy look for that second they find it no fancy footwork coming through here just efficiency 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 kirksey just caught off guard from the pop there's definitely going to be some nerves at play Game number one generally is not a true reflection of the competition that either player will bring. One minute remaining. Fantasy looking for that pinch off the crossbar from the dribble. Such a clean air dribble coming from Fantasy. Wonderfully done. Kirksey just trying to get in the way, but it looks like they just couldn't haul it fast enough. Fantasy will find themselves in a three-goal lead, gaining momentum, moving into game at number two. Best of five series in full tilt. Fantasy free flip too soon, going past the ball. Really difficult spot. Great shot coming from Kirksey. Excellent placement. 1-3. Fantasy finds themselves on the board. 51 seconds remaining. And see Fantasy. Definitely taking to the air a lot in this match. Great reset into shot. The quick reset and the immediate flick did wonders for Fantasy. Kirksey caught off guard. The power that he got off that touch was unreal. 1-4. Fantasy just increasing the gap in the last portions of this match. Epic Flying Horse, welcome. Fantasy will take the ball to Kirksey's side of the field once again. Oh my days, that was so close. Kirksey did really well on placement on that saving touch. Fantasy just intercepting Kirksey at every single turn. Constantly on the ball, constantly getting touches. Around Kirksey it goes, but Kirksey may have the speed for the save. Yes, they do. And they're in front 
of the play. At least they were <laughs> a merely a second ago. It looks like Fantasy wants to find that final goal, but the ball will bounce down. GG's have entered the chat. Game number one will move in Fantasy's advantage. One. Really, really well played from Fantasy and Kirksey. Just You see these players just feeling each other out for the most part of this match. We'll see if the nerves have been shaken off in game number two. And hopefully we get to see Kirksey just unleash and fire on all cylinders. I'm sure that he'll definitely need to, need to be in peak form to go up against Fantasy. I'm not sure if the, uh, I'm not sure if anyone remembers, but uh, Riza and I two v one fantasy and lost. I'm not sure if that's a, a a testament to fantasy's ability or a testament to our uh, inability. I'll let you be the choice. I'll let you be the judge. I'll let you be the choice, bro. I know how to speak. I know words. Sometimes I feel like when I speak, I just say words, and like <laughs> I just hope for the best. Just send it, bro. It looks like the players are ready to go <laughs> in Kirksey and Fantasy. Game number two will go ahead. What do you mean? That's a that's a solid advantage, bro. Not this. <laughs> A solid advantage for us, bro. Having a Rizzo on the team. Fantasy will score a four second goal. They'll find themselves. The deadlock on that kickoff worked out so well for Fantasy. He just stayed with the ball, and Kirksey actually just veered off into the distance. Fantasy playing it close. Even though Fantasy will choose to hit the ball across the net. It feels like a bait. Great save by Kirksey. Although they'll find themselves in the net. They do have plenty of boost. The boost management is on point. Something you would expect from the Chad. That is Kirksey. Pops it off the backboard. Looking for that double. Out of boost now. Kirksey just diagonal flipping back to the 100. Fantasy will pop it up high. Kirksey return to sender. Coming in hot. Fantasy can see it coming. Off to go to the far side, forcing Kirksey to use those resources to generate speed. Resources meaning boost. The war of attrition. You can definitely see Fantasy playing that game. Fantasy might find themselves an open net. And they have met the ball with the net. At a two-goal lead in game number two. Four minutes in. Fantasy looking very strong. Kirksey. Kirksey is definitely no slouch when it comes to ones. An incredible player in their own right. Plenty of time on the clock. What will Kirksey do? What will Kirksey's answer be to the question that is fantasy? Three minutes, 44 remaining. Fantasy going in for some fancy aerial plays. Doesn't work out though. Fantasy looking very confident. Kirksey maybe in a position to punish. Gets the cut. Oh, but it doesn't go in. It goes off the post. That's tragic. Fantasy has so much boost. Ends up going for the fake, anticipating Kirksey's challenge. Fantasy will get the high flick going wide. Will they make it? And it goes post for post. Welcome to post cord. <laughs> what was it? Only posts? <laughs> that was a team name, I think, in uh, the crew battles. Looks like Kirksey in front of the ball. Does not get the touch or at least fakes it. Kirksey recovers really well there. Fantasy in front of the play here. They do have advantage. Kirksey, not a lot of boost. Well, no boost. Grabs that one pad for the 12. Fantasy will boom it downfield. Having such little boost and being so close to the play. So risky. And it's, you have to be so careful with your positioning. We saw a lot of that especially during the Tristan versus Fiasco match for the other night. A lot of no boost plays, but just based on the player's positioning and based on 
what was happening as a case by case it ended up working out it's so risky at least to the feeble-minded such as myself fantasy will not find the net not today great save coming from Kirksey. the pressure is absolutely on fantasy just laying it on thick dyslexic art what will you do fantasy is giving away nothing absolutely riz there is no movement. There's no room to breathe. Kirksey just hanging in there, absorbing that pressure. And Fantasy will penetrate that fortress once again in game number two. Fantasy looking extremely powerful in this game. A four goal lead, just under two minutes remaining. Oh my days, that is dirty, disgusting. <laughs> Nothing worked out for Kirksey in that moment. Oh my, he bumped Fantasy into position. Fantasy bumps Kirksey out of position. Actual scam trade in that interaction for Kirksey. Fantasy though would be sitting very pretty, grinning from ear to ear. This is full tilt. Reset number one to Fantasy. Bakes the mustard. Ops high. Kirksey just looking for their moment. It definitely seems like Kirksey is looking a bit nervous when Fantasy has the ball. He's absorbed a lot of Fantasy's pressure. And that would definitely take a toll. Fantasy will hit it wide. Kirksey did really well to body block Fantasy in that moment. Although Fantasy just muscling their way through. Getting all the boost. Kirksey left with nothing on offense. Kirksey recovers, getting the 100. Fantasy not able to make contact on the uh, flick there. So, Kirksey will have an opportunity to gain, gain, generate some momentum moving forward. Catches it in off the sidewall. Kirksey comes into the ceiling. Fantasy in position. Kirksey hits it into the backboard. Punished by Fantasy almost immediately. Tragic for Kirksey. You can definitely see what he was trying to do. The flip just didn't make contact the way that he wanted. He probably wanted to hit it left instead of right, or at least try to set up a double and more into the center of the goal based on his momentum and trajectory. But Fantasy is brick walling Kirksey here in game at number two. You can definitely see it all coming together. Kirksey still formulating their plan, trying to find out how they're going to get through the unit that is fantasy Kirksey hard touch in gets it around fantasy brilliantly done Kirksey will find their first piece of momentum as they move through this series really well done by Kirksey you could see where fantasy was going and placed the ball with the flick wonderfully Kirksey is on the board High flick from Kirksey. Fantasy hitting it off target. They might be able to find the read here, but if Kirksey doesn't deny it, which he does, well done. Not enough boost for Kirksey to come back or recover to the ball in order to punish Fantasy. Fantasy living off pads and so much boost. Gets the dunk on Kirksey. The ball will not go in in game number two. Fantasy taking the W. Yes, there's definitely going to be a reckoning in game at number three. Kirksey will have to formulate a strategy and evolve in real time to find their way through. Fantasy is just uh, really pressuring and pressuring Kirksey, forcing Kirksey on the defensive more often than not. You can definitely see from Fantasy's touches, they're absolutely just going ex almost exactly where uh, they want and Kirksey just forced out of position definitely definitely want to see Kirksey reverse Uno the pressure game they definitely have it in them to do that although fantasy is a strong competitor so is Kirksey there's plenty of faith that they could reverse sweep 
if they bring it together. 6-1 finisher in game number two. Both players are eager to go into game number three. Which way will it go? Let's find out, shall we? Playing that drip game. Fantasy just taking the ball back. Oh, Kirksey coming in for the rush challenge. He's going full pressure on the demo. Narrowly misses Fantasy. So narrow Fantasy. It looked like Fantasy just jumped at the perfect elevation to get past Kirksey. Tragic. Sound strategy. Kirksey, you can feel, you can feel the aggression. Kirksey is ready to roll in game number three. He's looking for that reverse sweep. Equalizing at four minutes, 42. This is the Kirksey. We've all come to know and love. Really, really well done. Get that around fantasy. Light delay on the kickoff will give Kirksey possession. Fantasy calling it into position. Kirksey will find the lead the first time this series. Kirksey just absolutely dominating the field. Looks like Fantasy cut in a bit too sharp away from the back post. Really difficult save going backwards when Kirksey put it behind him. Great placement coming through from Kirksey. Kirksey get gaining. Gaining some some leverage here some momentum Kirksey waiting waiting very patiently I actually felt that he waited too long however Kirksey is the 1v1 player here not me we are just <laughs> we're just spectators in this event great demo coming from Kirksey that will give them some time wherever fantasy may spawn that works out very well for Kirksey not so well for fantasy although fantasy may be able to engineer a way through Kirksey looking for those bumps. Fantasy forced out of position. Fantasy, even though he's avoiding these bumps from Kirksey, a little bit of a wizard flick coming through from Kirksey. Will this ball just go straight into the net? No! Fantasy denied! Coming in very hot there. Trying to angle the ball down, but it goes over. Although they do gain possession. Fantasy doing really well to try and bait Kirksey in with Kirksey having boost priority and boost advantage in the play. Kirksey in the lead at 3 minutes 30. Oh, the challenge might work in Kirksey's favor, although they used a lot of boost to enable that play to happen. Kirksey grabbing that center boost, banging it. A little bit of a soft lob. Fantasy will find it. Oh! So close on the angle. Fantasy forced to retreat, although they come back at maximum speed. Gaining possession immediately, taking it straight back to the corner. You can definitely see the metagame. Gaining, gain possession, keep possession. Play keep away. Find your moment. Strike. Play safe. And this ball going left and right. Kirksey still in the lead. Fantasy just trying to put... Kirksey out of position. Great save from Kirksey. Doing really well on the shadow defense. Absorbing the pressure. We've seen a lot of that from Kirksey. Just absorbing Fantasy's pressure. He does find the demo, but he doesn't have enough boost to initiate an immediate assault. The pop is a little bit too heavy off Kirksey's head. The demo for that, for what it's worth. Kirksey might have a slight amount of time. He does. Kirksey. Cat-like reflexes on him. He'll just spawn and save. Here comes Fantasy. Oh, the side flip flick. The side flip flick is incredibly powerful because your car's movement is so minimal for what you get out of the flick shot. Indeed. Equalize the two minutes remaining. Fantasy sitting on match point. Kirksey doing really well to stay in the competition here in game number three. 
Kirk's you can definitely speak fantasy trying to get like trying to get 45 resets although it did not work <laughs> in that moment not able to get it over Kirksey Kirksey doing really well to brick wall fantasy here going for the catch high pop bounce dribble denied by fantasy who will try and find the net goes wide great boost grab from Kirksey although it did buy them some time off the demo but fantasy will just make it so awkward you would think that a close spawn would work in fan in Kirksey's favor, but he spawned as the ball was lobbed. His camera would have been wigging. Rusty, welcome. 2 3 Fantasy in the lead, bringing him back. Taking the lead away. There's one minute 15 remaining. Can Kirksey bring it back? Or will Fantasy run away with the victory? Kirksey looking for the pump. Do they find the goal? Yes, they do to equalize. Well done to Kirksey to find their moment. That pocket fantasy just left themselves open. Kirksey <laughs> just bang him out of the way. Three apiece. I'm going well, Russ. Thank you for asking. We've been chilling. We've got a great match on our hands. We see fantasy and Kirksey here in full tilt. It's great to see this side of the bracket move up after so long trying to organize everything. So uh, we're feeling good. How about yourself, Russ? How are you? Oh my, what a save, Kirksey. Ice in their veins, zero boost to their name. Fantasy. Looking to steal that corner or take their corner. Denying Kirksey. Kirksey doing really well with such little boost to stay in this play and keep the dream alive. Fake challenge, forcing Fantasy to release the ball. Oh my days, what a shot. Just when you think Fantasy was forced to release the ball. Fantasy hits that sidewall. Wave, wave dash? No, power slide, jump into position. Split second decision making from Fantasy. What a shot. Rusty Renault's coming through. Oh, Kirksey, if he can get that dribble down and find that goal to equalize into OT. Oh, no, that's tragic. Oh, it hits the, the bar down. Fantasy will walk away. The victor. Savage. GG's come through in the chat. GG's. Fantasy and Kirksey. The absolute clash came through. I hope Kirksey is not feeling too sore after that match. Fantasy was a tall order. But I think Kirksey did really well. He was definitely starting to generate some momentum in the final match there. But you could see Fantasy just came in swinging, just denying Kirksey at every single turn. I would, oh man, I could only imagine how it would go if I was the 1v1 fantasy. It would be, it would be me leaving the match 30 seconds in. Easily, really well done to Kirksey to absorb the pressure. You could see, you could see Kirksey in the defensive stance a lot in the shadow position. But fantasy was just relentless. Absolutely relentless. Brilliant showing from both players. Privilege to be able to cast that match. We only have one match tonight, so that was it. It looks like Fantasy will progress to the Gatekeepers round one. We've got Turpos and Cam waiting for their matches. Uh, we're still trying to organize another match with Tristan and Viri. Hopefully we can get that side of the bracket moving. I think we're, uh, we got McCloudy waiting 
at the uh the final round of the gatekeepers and uh we we definitely want to get this show on the road so <laughs> thank you zora thank you well it's cloudy now <laughs> you know what i like you know what actually bothers me so much about when people tell me like oh you know this 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 person's name wrong this person's name's wrong they point the finger at me like i did it bro and i don't have the heart to <laughs> throw riz under the bus i'm like ah well it's a future rush problem by future rush problem i mean dm riz please fix and then riz's response is nah bro. nah fam <laughs> he's cloudy now <laughs> nah fam <laughs> This is how it is. This is what their name is now. Um. <laughs> oh, man. Plastic. <laughs> well, here we are. At the end. It's so strange having such a, have such a short match after having... Um, not, not short match, sorry. Uh, not having another series after the matches, so we're just we're just done with one with one one series, and uh, it's so strange having a uh, multiple series back to back over the last few few streams. And now I feel a little bit uh, I don't know, <laughs> um, a little bit sad that we don't have more, but I'm sure. Riz and I will be cooking something up for all of you in terms of full tilt. Uh, tomorrow, Friday, we have the casual match run by Dementa. I will be supporting. I'll be playing the supporting role. A supporting character. A side character in uh, Dementa's story. So that's going to be extremely interesting for those of you who have signed up and they're waiting for the brackets to be released at some point tomorrow but we're gonna wrap this up so thank you all for coming i appreciate your time thanks for supporting the content more full tilt to come casual matches in the oven and we'll see you on the next one peace